Welcome back, my friends. RP with you, and we are jumping back into Supermarket Simulator. Thank you so much, everybody, for letting me steal some of your time. And the comments that I have been getting on the series is just amazing. You guys are so helpful. I am so happy uh, to be able to play the game on YouTube like this. We hit 2,000 subscribers, thanks to all of you, and I appreciate everybody that's giving us a try, and I, I, I truly can't thank you enough. Uh, from the bottom of my heart also please do me a favor if you do like the videos please hit that like button so we can let youtube know that i am here and maybe get a couple of more people on board the suggestions that i have gotten have been just fantastic i know i'm repeating myself but i just have to so everything from layout design to uh stalking strategies you name it you guys came up with it and what we have right now is um every Every product license that we have at this point, let's go take a look at where we are here on the licenses. The next license is almost $2,000, and that's steak and salmon and scallops and field chops and uh, all of this stuff. But we need more space. So our next section to open up is uh, $4,400. So, you guys have suggested, and I agree with you 100%, is to work like this now. Work with the stock that we have and start to earn money and start to put that money into expanding the store. So, that's what we're going to do. And so, I got this great comment from the humanists, and he suggests inventory that resembles the menu here. So in other words, we have at the very top, our very first, these six that we got, cereal, sliced bread, flour, oil, pasta, and powdered sugar. As you can see here, cereal, bread, flour, oil, pasta, the powdered sugar. These are the, the first six items. One, two, three, four, five, the first six items that we bought. And then I'm just using the bottom as the toilet paper. But this has been helping me. And these are the next items that we bought. And they are kind of mixed with the refrigerated goods as well. So I found that to be very, very helpful, and the store's been running really, really well this way. I am able to, for some reason, now that it is set up this way, I'm able to really uh, kind of keep an eye on things and just not work as hard. Uh, I don't feel now that I'm running around like a madman. And uh, yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to run this day. Turn the lights on right now so that they're on for the, for the whole period of the day. And we're going to run this day. We're going to see what kind of money we get. Uh, I've stocked all the shelves. Uh, and we are starting out with uh, just 43000 You know, just about $4,300 is what we started with. Uh, we need 4400 in order to get one more area open here. And that is the goal of the episode is to get that area open. And, and then at that point, to keep trying to get as much of this open as possible. So basically now when I'm just kind of working, I'm just like keeping an eye on everything. I'm not getting panicky anymore. I've uh, gone and done the triple play again. And, and everybody is uh, saying that at some point you're just going to have to have four of everything. But the problem I'm having right now is space. And if I four up everything, I won't have enough room for all the products that we're able to, uh, you know, sell in the store. So I've, I've had to go with a triple and then kind of... Uh, free uh, form it on the bottom here, like this green tea, this brown sugar, this Pablo sugar. Somebody made a joke about that. <laughs> Pablo Escobar sugar. Maybe we should be very careful with this sugar. Uh, anyway, yeah, so it's much easier for me to keep an eye on things. You know, we obviously, I, I doubled up on the chicken because the chicken just seems to uh, be something that flies very quickly off the shelf. So... Yeah, I mean, I think this configuration is, is, is definitely working. I've run it a couple of times just to test it. And we should get a perfect score. We should have uh, no issues uh, as long as I keep an eye on anything that might all of a sudden get, you know, like if they do a run on something. But as long as I've got some potatoes down here and I've got some toilet paper down here, I don't have to look at the bottom. And then, you know, this tea just has been holding up forever. And this brown sugar doesn't go go away that fast. I might, I might have to restock this every couple of days with one box. This Pablo sugar, though, does move very well. I'm wondering why. But anyway, 
Got our pizza, got our french fries. And this area right here, like I said, this is one of the hardest areas to keep track of. Uh, but now using this new method, uh, I just I find it much easier. So I hope everybody's doing well. It's the work week for me. I'm working my regular 40 hour week, coming home and making a video. Try, you know, here's what I do is I record at around uh, 4.30 Eastern Standard Time because I'm, I'm in Boston, obviously. Get off work at 4. I'm only 20 minutes from my house. I get home, start recording, and it's the editing that I'm finding that's taking me the most time now. So, like, I'll sometimes I'm editing one of these videos, like, I'll, I'll record for 40 minutes, 45 minutes, and edit out, you know, some of the nonsense and try to get it down to a good 30, 35 minutes. You guys have been expressing longer videos. And, uh, yeah, I could be editing till all the way up to 9 o'clock at night. 9.30 at night, trying to get it uh, uploaded for the next day. So I'm literally doing my channel. I don't have the luxury of being able to get a lot of videos ahead. And uh, I pretty much do them every single day I come home. So if there's a, a night that there isn't a video, well, I just got, uh, I just got too tired. <laughs> Basically just pooped out. <laughs> anyway. I do appreciate all the support this channel's been getting, like I said, and I really can't thank you guys enough for giving me a chance and uh, giving us a try. We just try to present the game and play the game as just like a normal person. You know, I'm not I'm not the, the smartest gamer on the block, but what, what I like about my channel and, and what, I've, what I've been trying to do is develop a community where we, we play it together and, and you guys say, hey, wait a minute, you know, you can do this. You know, this is a, a better way of, of doing it. And just that whole, you know, gamer community coming together and making these games just shine, you know? And plus, I love showcasing these new games. And uh, if you like the game, you know, maybe you, you go ahead and buy it and the developer uh, wins, you know, because obviously they work very hard when they put out their games. And this game is just like, has blown up on the internet. I mean, if I was a developer, I'd be like, holy cow, everybody's loving my supermarket simulator and for good reason. It's a really good game. Early access wise, it's an excellent game. And so far, so good. We are at nine o'clock. Look at that. We just let the whole day slip by while I chatted away and just kept moving. And I'm not moving fast. I got a comment. Uh, some viewers that I have have a little bit of, uh, you know, the, uh, you know, they can get triggered uh, with fast camera movements. So I'm practicing to be smoother with my camera movements. And uh, I appreciate any kind of comment that helps my channel be better, that helps these videos be better. And that was a great comment, and I truly appreciate it. And I am actually, you know, doing that. I'm trying to be as smooth as I can, not be uh, jittery, not be running around. I mean, that last episode had me running around like nobody's business. I, I just felt like I was clutching for a life raft every time I was trying to stock something. All right, so look at this. Everything is just running along nicely. Nothing's running out that I can see. And these customers are filing out. We're up to $6,524. We will have enough money to open up a new space here. So we are going to do that as soon as these guys get out. That'll leave us with probably a little over $3,000. That should, we should be able to get the store stocked back up and continue with another uh, another uh, day and see how much room we get. And it's just gonna be great, man. I'm just so looking forward to uh, getting this place expanded and really can't wait for him to get the stocking employees. <laughs> I mean, right now, I mean, right, we, we should have a perfect score. We should, nothing should have went wrong here because you guys have been so good on helping me set this up that everything should have went smoothly. Let's see. You ready? Look at that. 42 customers, zero products. We got, we, we did it. Perfect day. A perfect day. Thank you very much, everybody. I do appreciate everything that you've been telling me and how to go about this business. Okay, so let's let's do some price changes. This one's gone up to 372. And then we have, uh, of course, I can't remember that. There's just no way I can remember that. Let's go ahead and find it. All right, we have flour dropped in price. What else? The cheese we addressed. Uh, cereals dropping in price. So let's go ahead and 
Get the cereal done. That's now 658. And we will go ahead and get the um, flour, I believe it was, wasn't it? Yes, this flour right here, 573. Wow, that's a big drop. We were making big money on that. Man, that's a big drop on that flour. Okay, what else uh, did we... Uh, cereal and the flour, we got it. What else? Was there anything else? Anybody else need a price check? All right, so far so good. I do not see anything. All right, we're good to go. Price checks, let's go ahead and take care of bills. Trying to get into a, you know, now I took out another loan uh, in order to get uh, another cooler for us and a few more shelves in order to be able to get the configuration. So we are balancing our, our budget with a loan. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my daily loan payment down to 19. I extended the loan. And at some point, if we get, you know, a good roll of money, I'll go ahead and pay this off quickly. Uh, but I gave it the max amount of uh, months. So, you know, that and that also increased the interest. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and take a look at my, uh, my stock right here. And I am going to restock the shelves and we will get right back to business as soon as we get the store stocked back up. And I will catch right back up with you guys in a second. All right, everything all stocked up. Let's go ahead and start the day. All right, so we want to make more money. Now we have enough money to do this upgrade. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. We're all stocked up, so we should not have to worry about that. We'll make money uh, this evening. Let me make sure. Did I pay all my bills? I did. Okay, great. Um, let's go to growth. Oh, 4,000. Here we go. Boom. Just opened it up. Okay. All right, we've got some more room here. I'm going to go ahead and move things around while these people are shopping. Just to try to get things kind of straightened out here. All right, so... 
think what we want to do is we'll take this and we'll put it like this. Should open up a little room for us here. Just like that. Yeah. Because I'm just going to keep this like this so that the, the coolers are close together. Eventually, maybe just have another cooler light. I, you know, I don't know because you're going to open this thing up so many times. I don't know. I don't know where the next opening is. Is it back here after we buy this one? Then do we start on this end of the store again to push this back? I think we do, right? I've seen other videos and there seems to be a lot more room than this right here that we have. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to run this day and uh, make sure that everything stays the way it should. Everything is stocked up. I hope you guys enjoy the way that I display my stocking skills in the game. And, uh, you know, can relax with a little bit of uh, stocking music. That's my favorite music to stock by. <laughs> and uh, you guys actually have said that you enjoy that. So that's why I put it in there. You know, if you guys didn't like it, I wouldn't put it in there. But, uh, yeah, this is such a fantastic game. I just wish we could get uh, the stalkers going because... I'm getting to the point now where, like, right now my strategy is, based on you guys helping me, is just getting the right amount of stock on the shelves that last through the day. And then we're just kind of replenishing at the end of the day, rinse and repeating and trying to, uh, you know, keep the money going. Now, we've got to make some good money today because at the end of the day, we've got to pay our bills. Uh, we've got to pay the loan. And we've got to have enough money to replenish to see if we can get another day out of the uh, deal, you know. So it's it's a balancing act here. I'm definitely, definitely working a balancing act. But I definitely am going to take the advice of the comments that have said, just go ahead and, you know, keep the stock that you have. Use that as a way of generating your income and then throw that money into expansion before you start investing in more uh, stock. And I think I think it's going to be that, that strategy that's going to get us ahead. So, like, right now we have room for, what, another shelf here? But the next amount of uh, products, if we were to try to add them now as we kind of grow and try to upgrade our licensed product, steak... Uh, these all must be freezer items, and I wish that it would tell you before you buy it if it's a freezer item or not. A uh, veal chop, steak, scallops, salmon, you know, a lot of this looks like we'd have to buy more freezers. So there's there's quite a bit of an investment, and like I said, we've got a loan going right now. So, yeah, my goal uh, is just going to be to, again, stay in the black, run the business, pay the employees, replenish the stock, and pay the bills, and try to come out ahead every night, and then uh, grow from there. You guys let me know what you think. Uh, you already have, and it is absolutely fantastic, because I don't think it would be running like this. We had a perfect day, and we're going to go and get another perfect day here, hopefully. Let's go ahead and turn the lights on. The day seems to go by, whoops, there we go. The day seems to go by pretty quickly. We're already at six o'clock. Shelves are looking good. Let me just take a little once around here and go ahead and start getting some uh, boxes off the ground here. Working on my smooth camera maneuvers here. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what we can uh, throw up here. Got some chocolate. All right, that's full. Potatoes are holding out. How did the chicken do? Did we lose any chicken yet? Nope, but we can go ahead and we can replenish it just in case. Is that all of it? Yeah, that's all you get, right? Somebody said if you close this and you don't see the label, then you know that the box is empty. So that's awesome. That's how we'll roll. 
All right, let's go check out some of the key areas that can get us snagged up, like right here, this cheese. It's doing well. The water, we can go ahead and we can replenish some of this water. That's very good. All right, I got one cheese here. I'll toss it in there, and now we can get rid of this box. All right, OJ is uh, looking a little thin, but we are at 9 o'clock, so that is the end of the day. But we will have all these stragglers, so I believe this should hold up. I will check and see if I have a juice. Don't know if I do. I don't think I have an extra orange juice. What is this? This is apple juice. Let me see if we can toss some of this apple juice up here. Yep. Very good. Close it. Now that still has the, uh, the, the uh, label on it. But it is empty, so it still does have a label, even though it's empty. So I don't think that that's a good way of checking, because that has a label. There's nothing in there. All right, what do we got here? We got a little bit of uh, rice. Let's go ahead and top off our rice. We shouldn't be out of anything. We should be able to just go ahead and, as these guys buy goods, just, uh, you know, go around and... Pick up the boxes that I have on the floor here and see if any of the stock will fit. All right, good. What do we got here? Peanut butter. Let me throw this peanut butter up here. Rid of that cake. All right. I want to make sure that we satisfy everybody. All right, so that broke that T up right there. Very good. Everything's looking good in here. Go around to this end. All right, we're, we're missing one tuna fish. This cheese is starting to disappear. And the customers are almost gone. Uh, hopefully, we got a good day today. Another perfect day. Some tuna fish right here. And I think this is a much more relaxed way of running the store now. Uh, all of these suggestions that have helped me put this store together like this have just made the gameplay so much more enjoyable. Look at this. I haven't rushed at all during the whole time I've been recording this video. And, uh, you know, I'm just staying, uh, just staying up with everything. Got a little bread here. Can probably get rid of a couple of loaves of bread. I've got coffee right there. I know I do have coffee. Let me go ahead and grab some coffee. At least I thought I had coffee. All right, I might be out of coffee, but that's okay. It held up. Everybody's gone. We made it. All right, we made 3,000. Well, I don't know. We'll see what we made when I hit the enter button. And we got this space opened up. What is the price of the next space, right? Is it an arm and a leg or just an arm? Uh, it's an arm and a leg. <laughs> Holy cow. And then from there, it jumps up and jumps up. And yeah, it gets uh, it gets large and it gets expensive. So holy cow, we we definitely have a lot of game to go here. This is a this is quite quite a big uh, quite a big game. I'm really, really digging it. Uh, yeah. So let's see what we got. <laughs> Uh, we found one expensive product, so we missed something on maybe on a price change, something like that. And uh, yeah, so we did not benefit from we did not benefit from that. We also had forty three customers, 
But that's okay. We got our money. We made some money. And we are back in business. We can probably start to gain the money that we need in order to pop out this next wall. But it is going to take quite a bit of grinding. So I think what we'll do is we'll call this one right here because we did end up getting exactly what I needed done. We got this space opened up. The uh, flow of the store is working. I need to just keep grinding away at it in order to keep the money going. But the layout that you guys helped me create here, uh, without a doubt, is working. Uh, you know, other than the little slip up I made there by probably rushing into the next day and not getting my price changes done correctly. Uh, but that's going to happen. And, uh, you know, we'll take care of business. We'll get things straightened out. And uh, I thank you guys so much for uh, hanging out with me. And uh, as always, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Ta-ta and bye-bye.